Hi everyone, this is Andy the Tutor here, uh, just browsing some of the questions online and uh, these are exactly the ones that I enjoy uh, solving. To me, math is uh, it's pretty interesting because it's uh, kind of like a mystery game. So let's read the question here and understand what the question is. The length of Obed's rectangular garden is 10 centimeters more than four times the width. The perimeter is 120 centimeters. Define a variable and write and solve an equation to find out how long and how wide the rectangle is. What is the area of the rectangle? First thing I tell my students is always identify the call of the question. That's the most important thing. So the call of the question here is what is the area of the rectangle? Okay, they want to know the area. But uh, within the area, what they want to know as well is they want to know a couple more things, right? They want to choose the final variable and they want you to write and solve an equation. And this is all necessary for you to solve for the area. And they have some givens here. And some of the givens are that the perimeter is 120 centimeters. So we know that perimeter, this is a rectangle, we know that perimeter is the is when you grab a rectangle and you add up all the sides. Okay, so this right here inside the perimeter will be 120 centimeters. Okay, the perimeter. Just type here perimeter. So we know when we add up all the sides, we're going to get 120. Now, it tells me that the length of the rectangle, so this part up here, is going to be 10 centimeters more than 4 times the width. So let's let x equal the width. So this is the width of your rectangle. So we're going to let this side equal the actual width. So we'll let that right there. Let me delete this. We'll let the width, this equal x right here, okay? And then we'll let this up here be exactly what the uh, problem statement tells us, which is, which is to let it be 10 centimeters more, so 10 plus 4 times the width, 4x, right? So it's, uh, it's an algebraic problem. So what this is telling me is that the width of this rectangle is x, and then the length is 10 more than 4 times x, the width. Okay? And because this is a rectangle, we know that, we know that the, the sides are equal. So the length, this length is equal to this length. And we also know that the width is going to be equal on the other side. Okay, and we'll bring that over here. So what that tells me is since we know that the perimeter is 120 centimeters, basically if I add up all these sides, I'm going to get 120. So if I start to go ahead and work it out here, I'm going to put all my sides together. So I'm going to use this side first. So I'm going to write X, and then I'm going to add this. I'm going to add the length here. 10 plus 4x, and then I'm going to add another width, which is x, and then I'm going to add the other length down here, which is 10 plus 4x. And what do we know? We know that when you add up all those sides, we're going to get 120. Now, it becomes simple algebra. What I'm going to do is I'm going to combine like terms. And what that means is I'm just going to get and add every single factor that has an x with it. So I have one x here. I have another, I have four x's here. So that's 10, that's four plus one, that's five x's. I have another x here, that's six x's. And then I have another four x's here. So six plus four is 10. So I simplify that to 10 x. And I combine the like terms that don't have any variables. And that would be these two tens. 10 plus 10 is 20. And now I simplified these equations by saying that 10x, that's 1, plus 4 is 5, plus another one is 6, plus 4 is 10. Okay, so 10x plus 20, those are the two tens right here, equals 120. And now... That is my actual equation. So the next thing I got to do is just solve for x. And the way that I do that is I'm going to take this 20 and move it over. And I'm 
going to do the opposite. So it's adding here. Now I'm going to subtract it from this side and then subtract it from 120. So if I, I, I would leave me with 10x should equal 100. Why? Because I subtracted minus 20 here. And, I, and if you do it to the left side of the equal sign, you got to do it to the right side. So now 10x equals 100. That's 120 minus 20, 100. And now that I want to isolate the x, and the x is being multiplied by the 10, so I'm going to do the complete opposite. I'm going to divide this x, this 10x by 10. And 10x divided by 10 is going to give me the x alone. But since I did it to the left side of the equation, I got to do it to the right side. So now I got to divide 100 by 10, and that gives me 10. So the answer here is that x equals 10, but it's not the final answer. Why? Because they want the area of the rectangle. Now, if I just plug in everything, if I plug in 10 for the value of x, I'm going to get the measurement of every side of the rectangle. So this is x alone, which means this is 10. And this is 10 plus, and I'm going to substitute that x right here for 10. So 10 plus 4 times 10 is the equivalent of saying 10 plus 40, which equals 50. So now I know that this side right here, the length equals 50, and this side right here equals 10. Now, I could go ahead and solve for everything. I mean, it's very simple, right? You know that this will equal 50 as well. But an area of a rectangle is the length times the width. So the final answer is going to be 10 times 50. And 10 times 50 gives you 500. So the area is going to equal 10 times 50, which equals 500. So here are all your answers. You have the area of the rectangle is 500. You have the variable, which is x, and we said it's going to equal the, the width. We have this equation right here, 10x plus 20 equals 120, or 10x equals 100. And we solved for the area, which is 500. Hey, feel free to go out, leave any questions, any comments, any concerns. If this is still confusing for you, it's a little bit longer than usual, but if it's still confusing, uh, go ahead and hit me up, send me a message. I'll be more than happy to walk you through, through this. There's different ways to do this. Uh, uh, there's... Uh, uh, different methods that perhaps are more appealing, but uh, this for me would be the uh, fastest and uh, easiest way to do this. Uh, once again, it's been a pleasure solving this equation for you in this problem. My name is Andy the Tutor. Have a nice evening.